Can you believe you're in a movie, Juancho? No, I mean, no. I never, I never dreamed to be an actor, and here we are doing a movie. So you never dreamt of doing no. something like this? No. How did you get involved in this? So I, thanks for the pandemic. Uh, I was at home doing quarantine with my brother uh, and my sister, mm -hmm. and she was the one who we were so boring that she say, hey, why we don't do the castings? And I, I already tell them, no, I tell my agent, like, I'm, I'm not interested in doing a movie for like five or six months. And then my sister and we were so bored, like we did the castings and I don't know what they see or, or what they like and they, they choose me. Okay, so let me get this straight. So it's the pandemic, Yeah. okay. Um, so this is what, like March or March, April of March. Uh, March of 2020. So the whole country, we're all, yeah, NBA stops. We're all locked in. Were you yeah. here in America or were you- I was in to... Charlotte. Okay, okay. And NBA stops nothing else to do and we did the castings and so when you say we did the castings i've got a, our terrestrial radio audience has just gotten back here juancho Hernan gomez here uh on the rich eisen show from the utah jazz and now the film hustle we just saw a clip of you uh juancho with adam sandler in the scene uh where he as the scout is trying to get you in shape for mm -hmm. the nba scouting combine to impress and um, so you're, when you said you, you and your sister are sitting in the home during the pandemic to do the castings, it was, you. so you were aware there was a film yeah. being made uh, yeah. that, they that asked, required they, a basketball player to act? Yeah, right? they asked me about the December and I told them no until March. Netflix or the film did? Yeah. Reached out they, to you in December of 2019. To my agent. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. To my basketball agent. Right. Just, and I was telling him, no, I'm not interested in doing a, a movie. I mean, I'm no actor. I mean, I'm, I'm happy enough with my basketball career. Right. I'm falling in love uh, with basketball and focus on basketball. And, and I don't want to be part of the movie. So you're bored at home with your sister during and the, my brother and your brother during the pandemic. And they're like, OK, we got nothing better to do. Why don't you try it? Try out for this movie. That's right. And how did you try out for the movie during the so pandemic? We didn't know how to do a casting. So we just put the phone on the on the kitchen mm -hmm. and just and try to play like a movie. And we were like, hey, yo, I'm Bo Cruz, whatever. And I don't know, I don't know. Well, you, guys, so you, you, like, you didn't have the actual script? You just we got the up. script, but we don't know. Okay. You gotta, we got to follow, we got to impro, we don't know. And and you you can ask Adam, I don't know what they see on me, for real. Like, it was so bad. I got the videos on my phone, I saw you later. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you just have no, um, I, I guess, frame of reference no. on how to do it, I never, on what to do. I never. Did act. you ever do a school play? Ever? No. Never. No. Never once. Okay. Uh, I, I, I what have, about what about a game night? Do you ever do like a pantomime or any, you ever do any acting in any way, shape, or yeah, form? Yeah, we play like a, like a movie. Charades? No, yeah. I mean, I mean, when we play with the friends, I I have a lot of imagination. So okay. when I was a kid, yeah. I I get a, 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 a like a sword and I fight, you know, and I get killed and I d down on the floor, but uh, I never I never act. I never do a casting. So you send this video in, and yes. you think what you, you got? No, I think okay, I did it. So keep keep moving. And then when when's your phone ring? What what so happened? So they 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 told me they like it. So I don't know why. Uh, they told me they like it. That they I want to do another Zoom call with the with the director of the casting, uh -huh. and we start from there. And then I got a next Zoom call with the director of the movie, and then the next Zoom with Adam and with Adam Sandler. Yes. And then that's when I, 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 I was like, wow, this is going to be pretty serious. Like, this is real. I thought it was like, I, I'm going to do like a cameo, or like a small part of a movie, or they want me to, I don't know, shoot the ball. But I never, I never expect to be... A main character. Yes. Like, the movie's about you. Like, this is, well, obviously about Adam Sandler's yes. character as well. He's and your relation one. together. No, but I mean, so clearly... Um, this is a, a main role. Like you're, a, you're a main actor. You're, you're not a best supporting, or you're not supporting anything. I mean, you're, but so, um, so did you know? Did have you seen Sandler's movies? Did you know? Yeah, okay. I seen for sure. I mean, in Spain, he's big. Um, but which one? Which which movie? Sandler got his favorite uh, Sandler movies. Waterboy. Okay. Uh, Happy Gilmore. All, all of them. I mean, he's so funny from uh, to Spain to like yeah. everybody loves him so much in all the world. Of course. But I, I, I when I meet him, I wasn't nervous. Like I was more nervous the other day when we do the premiere, taking a picture with LeBron James, and you know, <laughs> and I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm more proud to have that picture that, than to do a movie. 
for real, like that's that's how it is because I dream about being a basketball player. I've never dreamed to be an actor. Right. Well, now you're the, the, that that other dream you didn't know that could be possible. You now have. Yeah. I've got Juancho Ernan Gomez here on the Rich Eisen show. So. Um, w was LeBron on the set? Did you meet him on the set or anything? No, like I, I didn't meet him on the set. Uh, we we shoot the movie in two years. Yes. So from the first year to the second years, we play a game. Uh, we play against the Lakers, and after the game, LeBron came to me. I mean, we were on the locker room, and he's coming. I was like, oh, LeBron is coming. Where I gonna hide? And he coming to me and say, hey, thank you for doing the movie. You're looking great. And I was like, oh, f it. he knows. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is amazing. How, I mean. <laughs> I, I, I've been around this sports world for a long time, Wancho. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 you know, the last eight years we've been doing this show and we have, you know, a lot of movie stars and actors and actresses on and we've been covering the entertainment industry. I've never heard an NBA player go up to another NBA player and say, hey, man, I've seen the dailies and you look amazing <laughs> in my movie. Crush. Crush. <laughs> yeah. Let alone it's LeBron James as well. Um, mm -hmm. So again, I, I know you're a professional basketball player, and then when you step on the court against the Lakers, that you you know you got to beat this guy. For but sure. there is a certain star-struck aspect when it comes to LeBron for you, Juancho. I mean, it's a, probably it's an extra motivation playing against him. I sure. mean, he's the best of what he does for the last 20 years. Uh, he's an icon for for whatever he do off the court. You know, he makes schools. He made he fights for the right for the right actions every time. Mm -hmm. So he's a, a legend, and when I play against him, he's like, I'm going to show you I can play too. Right. So coming from Spain, uh, you know, I'm a kid from Spain playing against the king. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Juancho Ernan Gomez here on the Rich Eisen Show. And so now that you have seen Hustle, yeah. what do you think? Uh, I mean, I like it. I like it. I mean, screw the movie. Your performance. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know. I don't mean to say screw the movie in front of the Netflix people. My apologies. No, I'm saying, I'm but saying, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying. Like, um, I like the movie, but I, um, the movie, the two hours of the movie don't yeah. show how hard we work for the movie. We work so so hard for two years. Everybody uh, work really really hard. Not just the actors, like off the cameras, the camera members, the makeup, the directors, the audio, whatever. They work so hard. The first year with the pandemic. And I don't know how we make a movie through the pandemic. So it's a shootout for all of them. Well, we just showed a photograph. Uh, Mike Hoskins, I'm talking to our producer right now. If you don't mind, I'm putting it back up on the screen. It's filled with cameos. And, and whenever there's a movie that I'm helping yeah. promote through through uh, somebody here to, to promote it, I, I'm, I'm a little hesitant sometimes to talk about all the surprises that people can have. Mm -hmm. But right here uh, on the screen is a, is a photograph of Anthony Edwards of yeah. the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. uh, in the film, in his draft combine shirt, and the look that he's giving you, um, I part of part of me thinks is, uh, how'd you get this role and not me? That's what <laughs> I'm looking at right there is what Anthony Edwards, because he's he strikes me as he's got, he has some acting ability in, sure. in his, in his uh, future he, as well. Great. Um, so it was and, funny because I shoot half of the movie before I, he came to Minnesota, mm -hmm. and I play one year with Anthony. Yes. And when I meet him, he was the number one pick. When I meet him. I told Adam, I told Jeremiah, director, hey, I think we got the Kermit. I think he's going to be, like, he he was the same as Kermit as the real life. He loved to talk <laughs> He He <laughs> acts cocky, but he's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he thinks he's the best in every sport. And I, <laughs> I, I told him on the locker room, like, hey, Anthony, I'm, I'm doing a movie, and you can be a really big part. And he was, from the first day, like, so interested. And then he do the castings. He worked with the acting coach. We got the same acting coach. Mm -hmm. It's Noel Gentile. And thanks for her, we did the movie, and he was so nice and so good on uh, you know, his performance. And the reason is we got so much chemistry after one we play one year together, like we can say whatever, we can fight. And then when they say cut, we just hug each other. We were laughing, we were playing one-on-ones, and mm -hmm. we that's the love we got. Yeah, uh, although it's not all just like Anthony Edwards, because Kermit doesn't have a dog in the movie named Kermit Jr., mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like that's... <laughs> that that's that may be my favorite Anthony Edwards yeah. fact. Do you know Do you know that about Anthony? Which that, one? That he has a dog yeah, named yeah. Anthony he, Edwards now Jr. Now he got three or four dogs. Yeah, he's and named he, his he dog Jr. The, uh, he he loves the Twitter account for his dog. That is that I, didn't I know. know. Yeah, no, Anthony Ant is hilarious. He's I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah, and he loves his dogs. Uh, for sure, more than his newborn kids. Uh, he's probably coming. My, he's probably bet, you know, my best dad ever. He's signed. He's probably sure. coming for that. He take care of his dog better than he take care of me. <laughs> for sure. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.